What's up YouTube? It's the Big Kahuna back again with another video and I like to give a shout out to Detroit's Reaper and this brother has a YouTube channel. He's got some good stuff going on over there so if you could go by there and check his stuff out. Also, if you want an unbiased opinion on video game reviews and I mean reviews from PC to consoles, handhelds, and all that, you need to go by playlegit.net. They have a YouTube channel and they have a website. It's made by the gamers for the gamers. And I play with some of these guys, so check them out also. And on to today's video. So I wanted to go over, you know, me being in gaming and how I got started because you know a lot of YouTubes talk about their first systems and stuff like that and sometimes when I hear some of them speak about the first gaming systems that they're on I don't sit back and necessarily laugh but I'm a older guy so I can remember systems way even though I mean really really old way back in the day um, some of the systems matter of fact one of the systems that I bring up sometimes people say what is that I've never even heard of that and I have to tell them to go google it and stuff but when I first started out and once again like I said I'm an old guy so when I first started out <coughs> I started out with Pong it was just a big console that kind of looked like a racing wheel without the actual steering column on it and it had two little knobs that you turned back and forth and it had like a switch on it that you pushed up and down to change the mode of gameplay and it had two white sticks that went up and down like you was playing tennis and had a square ball that went back and forth and when you pushed the switch up it would put two sticks on each side so then you're using controlling two sticks with the one knob so that was the beginning of video games for me then um I moved on to uh, when everybody was getting the Atari 2600. I had the Intellivision, the Mattel Electronics Intellivision, which at the time was the most powerful system. It and I mean, you know, people keep talking about the 50% power of the PlayStation. You really could see that this thing was way more powerful than the Atari 2600. It also later on in its life cycle which wasn't that long um came with a thing called the intellivoice that you plugged into it and it actually gave voice to some of the games that were programmed with voice in it um then later on i moved to when everybody had nintendo i never had a nintendo console i moved to the sega genesis from the sega genesis i went to the sega cd then the uh, 32X, and then after that, I moved on to the Sega Saturn. I loved the Sega Saturn. Of course, that didn't last too long. Um, and I moved from the Sega Saturn to the PlayStation 1. And then I had put my money on layaway for the, uh, well, not layaway, but pre order at EB, Electronics Boutique, when it was still out then um, on the PlayStation 2 and something happened where I needed the money to pay a bill or something so I took the money off and went and paid the bill and then I started reading about the the OGX and once I seen that and seen that it had a hard drive that it you know you could rip music because I was tired of, and this is just me personally I, I wasn't down with the rock and roll and racing games when I was playing it I wanted to play my own music and then when they said that you could put your music in some of the games I was sold and then that's when I put my money on the OGX and once I got that I loved it then I moved on to the 360 and then I also had a PS3 and then I moved normally to the PS4 and the X1 but I sold my PS4 because they just didn't have the games I wanted and they probably will eventually but right now it's just not happening for me so that's my brief history in the gaming industry and how I played games and all that other stuff but as I always say fanboys don't love their favorite system they just hate yours peace